Welcome to the channel where we are doing a continuing playthrough of Pericles, the Peloponnesian War. I'm Mark Harmon, and if you remember from our last video, it took a long time. I was explaining a lot of rules, and so it ended up being like seven videos. I don't want to do that anymore. Now for turn two, we're going to try to move this along is, is not i mean not gonna rush but we're gonna move along without a bunch of rules explanate explain explanations i may flash them on the screen so you can see them as i'm playing but hopefully that'll eliminate some of the time we're going so let's dive right into turn two now the first thing that happens is aristophanes card we just get rid of that card i'll put it on the bottom i guess and finally, we, we turn the new one up, and it is Lysistrata. <clears throat> now, if anybody knows an Aristophanes play, this is usually the one they know. This is the one where Spartan and Athens are at peace, or, or at war, and the women of both Sparta and Athens conspire together to withhold sex from the men until they um, negotiate peace. So, and... Not surprisingly, this card ha also has a War and Peace theme to it, just like uh, the one before. So the War and Peace is in play again this turn. So, and for Athens, place the War and Peace issue on the faction with the least honor. That's me. So I might be able to rack up a sweet 10 points this turn. And of course... Down to the Spartans, place one space on the faction with the least honor. Uh, they're tied. And when they're tied, the opposing faction would be considered the least honor. So the War and Peace issue is going to go on the... Oh, where'd you go? The Europontids. Okay, what else does this card tell me? Oh, we have the new Will of Assembly order. So, Will of Assembly, Will of the Assembly, Economic Security, Athens, Athens Theater, Sparta, Sparta, the well, uh, I don't ever, man, I don't remember ever playing this card before, or having it ever come up. I played this game a lot, I don't remember this, so here, and here, and basically control theater at market location, well, that's going to be, well, I'm saying it's going to be easy, but, um, oh, I can be mean. Because I'm a non-player and the bo I'm a human player. I might be able to exploit that. Okay, so each faction will gain five honor for success or lose five armor for losing or not succeeding. And five strategoi tokens will be removed from the next turn stock. All right. Put this back here. And we are going to get ready for the political cards segment. But before we do all that, we have to come up with the various bot strategies. Okay, so. All right, let's run through this real quick. Athens is contested. It isn't. This is for the demagogues, by the way. Granary Theater, no, we're good there. Uh, Will of the Assembly, either one. Well, I mean, it matters, but hang on. We're gonna roll the die. And Two, they will do it. So, they have Will of Ass uh, What is the Will of Assembly? It is Control Theater. So we're using the Control Theater option here. Right here. League Military Oracle. Military League Oracle. And now for the Spartans. Spartans contested, no. Will of the Assembly, we check. Spartans, the Agiot, specifically. Mm -hmm. They, six, they're going to skip that. And it's probably fine for them to do so, because it's just in the home theater. Uh, so we're going to go to Contested Theater. Isthmus of Corinth. No, we own that. Uh, Bosha. Oh, oh, that is Contested. Let's take a look. Let's see what they say. Where's my dice? Ah! Destroying the Spartans. Where's my dice? There it goes. Yes, they will do that. They're going to protect key allies by operating in Bosha. So they're going to want Military League, Military, Military League, Military. So MLM, MLM, MLM. Continuing on with the Europontids, 
Sparta is war with Athens. And the question is, will they ravage Attica? Ooh, they might put that in contest. They might actually... Ah, oh, man. Things are... Here, skip that, please. No. They're gonna ravage Attica. Is there... Is there strategy? And that will cause... Call for military, league, military, league, military, military. Okay. Uh, just a little footnote on that last military issue. We um, we need the league issue because we don't have a base present in Athens here. Flash it over there. If there was a base, we would ignore the use, trying to get a league issue. Sorry, I have to tilt the camera like that. Uh, this one, though, we don't need because uh, we'd only need it if the uh, theater was con if the theater wasn't contested. So we'll need that. But if the theater was contested, we wouldn't need that military league issue, league or military issue either. Okay, we got everybody's strategy. Now we're gonna deal out some cards. Now here's a little persnickety rule that you may miss. You actually reshuffle the entire deck and deal a new hand when you're dealing new hands. I kind of for a long time I was playing this like a deck builder where you, where you don't you just go through the whole you cycle the deck uh, so every card will come out. But you. Uh, if you look in the rules there, you actually reshuffle each time and you get a fresh hand, a fresh deck each time. So, let's do that. And with the magic of camera, speed, and editing. Now, the other thing. You remember last turn, I had an entourage. And that's basically just like a little booster pack, of a deck of three cards that I could power up my faction leader with. But because I used it last turn, I don't get that this turn. That means I play with six cards plus my faction leader, and he plays with nine cards and his faction leader. So there's that. So let's deal him. Okay, Aristocrat's hand. My hand, that is. And it's not bad. It's, uh, it's good because it's diverse. So whatever shows up on there, I'll at least I'll have some aligned cards for playing there. Uh, you'll notice I got a whopping four. Three plus this league issue is only a four. This is what uh, Mark Herman calls the dog cards. And there's actually, you know, even though they're dogs, they're still useful strategically because sometimes you actually, because like he says, most of these cards are going to add up to five, they average out to five. So you're going to be having a lot of five cards. That means a lot of deadlocked issues. So sometimes you're going to actually want to play for the sake of your side. Play something a little low, but you still get Stratagos tokens and and um, and don't get totally blown out of the water by having to use ones that aren't aligned. So, that's my hand. And I'm actually not going to look at the Demagogue's hand until I absolutely have to. Kind of give ourselves a little bit of... a little less knowledge here. So, where do we begin from here? We go to the Boule segment where we pick our issues for the debates. Okay. Better? So, demagogues, as controlling faction, get to pick the first issue. And because they are doing a League, Military, and um, Oracle issue, and League is listed first, their first pick is naturally going to be a League issue, and they get it in the two spot because of their being controlling faction. That kicks it over to us for our first issue, and now I have to figure out what I want to actually do on the board. There's something of an exposed Spartan right here, and there's a benefit to defeating Spartans on land, and we'll get into that if I'm able to do it, so I think I'm actually going to pick up a military issue and see if I can't uh, give him a little bit of trouble. Uh, it may not come to that, but we'll take a look here. So, I'm going to pick a military issue, and that will go in my one spot right here. So far, the, before go, even going into the debates, we are tied. I have two issues on at one, so that's two, and he has one issue at two. Two, we're tied. Okay. So, now he gets to pick three issues. Now he wants uh, military issues already on the board, so he's going to put an oracle issue on the board, because that's his other uh, part of his strategy, and that's going to go in the middle section here. Now we have to look at his hand to see what else he would pick. Demagogue's hand, not that, not all that good. And he's got diplomatic issues here, which he's not really interested in. Um, so he's got a bunch of, looks like, like dead cards here. 
Uh, his strongest Yushu, however, is the military. He's got three there, and he's got one with a six and one with a seven. He's going to pick two military issues. One, two, in the middle. Now I get to pick two. I think my hand is reasonably... It's okay on diplomatic. I think one of them will be the diplomatic. And the second one... Uh, I might throw another military on there. But, you know what? Let's get another... Ah, Sorry about the camera there. I'm going to go ahead and throw another league on. I think I can win a... Might be able to eke out a win on the league. Uh, well, actually, I don't think I can. Uh, I think it's just going to be a dead issue for me. Well, they're all going to be dead issues for me. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. All right, let's start debating. Demagogues pick their first issue. Number one. And that is going to be military according to their strategy. And for that, they're going to play their strongest card, which is going to be... A seven. I'm playing this hand upside down, by the way. <laughs> I have to flip everything around. Remind me. Okay, so he's going to play a seven. And against that, he's got me by the... Mm, yeah, he's got me. And the question is, would I play my faction? I don't want to do that. I am going to... So what I'm going to do is actually deadlock him by playing this seven card as well. And that's going to deadlock that issue. And I don't know if we really want to do that, but, you know, he's going to get four Stratagos. And I'm going to get two. All right. It flips to us. Two. What do I want to argue about? Let's see if I can't uh, eke out a win on this diplomatic issue. I pop... Callius at a three, aligned six. He will play his strongest card there. And and that's going to be a. F Whoa, that's not his strongest card. Hang on. No, yes, it is. Four, five. Five is his strongest card. I'm a six. I'm actually going to eke that one out. I will get. Oh, if Athens at war. Yes, we are at war. Okay, I, was, I almost forgot the, um... No, wait a minute, I'm reading this part here. I've got to remember I'm doing it upside down. I'm upside down. Okay, I'm going to get two Stratagos. He is going to get one. All right. Time for issue three. And he's going to go for that military issue again. He's going to struggle for it. He's going to play Demosthenes. Three, three, for six. And he's kind of got me by the scruff here. And I almost want to play... No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to lose by a whole bunch. So I'm going to burn this card here. And as you can see, we got uh, Nicias, or Nicias, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, five, I'm not aligned, unfortunately. So, he's going to beat me by one. Like so. That gets him on the board. He's going to take four Stratagos. I am going to take zero because I am not aligned. That is a problem. Okay, but I'm not getting slaughtered in the debate. Okay. My go. What can I do? Uh, I feel at this point I'm basically playing for um, Stratagos tokens. So, I'm going to play on the league issue. I'm going to do this league issue, and I'm going to play uh, Latches for a five. He's going to respond probably with the same thing, I would suspect. Yes, he would. He's going to play Conan, and we're both going to get one Stratagos token. Fifth issue. We're almost done here. He needs... Military League. He needs that Oracle issue, so he's going to pop this. It's going to be his next debate. And he's got a five. He's got uh, Glaucon. And he'll hit it for a five. But I also have Aeschylus for a five as well. That is going to deadlock that issue. 
we will both win one Stratagos token. That is the end of... Oh, wait, nope, 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 one more, one more. Sixth, I get the last debate. And the last debate, I will debate... Ooh, I think I might be able to pull this off. No, I don't think I will. Okay, League. I'm going to do the League. I'm going to play Leon uh, for four. Yeah, not so hot. Um, and actually, he cannot beat me on that. So he's going to just try to play his strongest card against that. Which will be a, wow, <laughs> Xenophon. And that's a three. That's actually going to eke me on a league issue. Ah, oh, I like that. And I'm going to get uh, one Stratagos in, in addition. Okay. Now, what does this all mean? Oration Honor. Who won this debate? Well, I've got four points. He's got three. I have beaten him by a whopping total of one. Okay. Let's pull our cards out of here. All right. Because I have one, I will become controlling faction. And I will get the Athenian state ship here. And we'll get into that if, uh, when it comes up. Uh, the will of the assembly is going to move one over to neutral. Uh, as far as tiebreakers is concerned. And finally. I'm going to win one point. Demagogues are going to lose one point. That is our debate. Uh, one step left is neither one of us played our faction leader card. Uh, as controlling faction, I get to go first. I'm going to get a, because we're in pre-plague, the plague has not happened in this game yet. It may not ever happen, but it might. But right now it has not happened. And so I'm going to get four Stratagos. And he's going to get two Stratagos, but f there's only five in the stock here. Because you pull it from this kind of reserve. So I get my four. And he gets what's left over. And there's two here that never got picked. That is the end of it. What happened with the Cretans at Sparta? Oh, make that the Spartans at Crete. Um, sorry, little history of the world part one joke there um they're gonna have their debates which um they get their issues the agiad will get um military league a military a league and a military ah, trash in the place and sorry about that the your Pontids will get a military and a league issue. However, they need three. So we'll just pop the top card off their deck. A league issue. So he will get a second league issue almost kind of randomly. Now, who won these debates? That'll be interesting. The controlling faction is the Agiad. The Agiad will be the red dice, and the Europontids will be the yellow. We roll the dice. The, the Agiad win by two points. They will retain control of the faction. The assembly, will of the assembly, will um, favor the, uh, favor of the assembly, will move to their side. Europontids will lose to honor. The Agiad will gain two honor. And basically we split, split the uh, Stratagos tokens in half. That's the end of the debates. And what was only left is to resolve any special issues. And the first one you always resolve is War and Peace. And because War and Peace is, is not in the zero spot, if it was on, it's on my side. If, if it's on his side or on my side, we trigger this because it was one on his side as well. And when that happens, peace breaks out. So we have gone for one turn at war, and now all of a sudden we're back at peace. Uh, I don't know, maybe somebody thought we were biting off more than they could chew when <laughs> we got started into this battle. 
Uh, it's just, it's uh, just a big misunderstanding. I don't know. I, I, I'd like to say I'm real sorry about what happened before. The whole thing was just a, a just a misunderstanding. Uh, but the upshot of all this is the parties that won the peace issues on both sides, the Spartans and the Athenians, get a whopping 10 point uh, bump in their honor. So that's me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 21, so I'm actually, I'm starting to catch up here a little bit, and um, the Europontids won it over here, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, we as the, the Athenians are still losing, but we're getting a little bit of ground there. Um, so, we're back to peace. That means blue units cannot invade spaces with red units. That means I am not going to be able to tag that um, Spartan all alone and now pop. No, wait a minute. No, I can't because there's already forces. If there's already forces there, I can still fight. I don't. I just can't move in there. Yeah, see? Yeah, strategy. Okay, so the honor order looks like it has changed. And I'll go ahead and... so. Your Pontids are out in front. They have the most honor. They're going to go first. Followed by the Agiad, two. Followed by the Demagogues, three. So instead of going clockwise, we're going counterclockwise when we do resolve all that. But that is the end of the debates. We are getting ready to do theater placement and resolution. So this video is uh, just slightly over 20 minutes. You can see we're moving along at a much better clip. And, of course, I was going really fast through there. There's a good chance I might have made a goof somewhere in there. If you see it, call it out. If you have any questions, ask about uh, things, because I am glossing over the rules terribly. But in any case, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.